All right. In the last video, we created this navigation bar, which uh, now looks kind of similar to the one we have, but maybe font size is different. Now we are going to complete this. So maybe I would like to change the font size quickly, um, which can be like one EM here, maybe uh, 1.2 here, which, yeah, which seems to be the uh, right sizes, maybe. So this is quite big, so maybe 1.5. That seems okay, but it's too big. Like three maybe, right? All right, so I'm gonna keep this. Uh, now I also told you that, you know, we are gonna highlight this. Now, so in order to do that, uh, so we see this nav as, as, a, as a component now, because it's gonna be easier if we move it to its own component. Um, so one thing, uh, one way to do that is like create some folder inside a source and do it. Or you can also create a component here itself and use it. In this case, um, since it only belongs to the routes, uh, I'm going to create inside the routes itself. I'm going to create a, not a folder. I'm going to create a file called this navbar.svelte. All right. So nothing happens here, nothing, you know, happens to the routes. So it, it will not even, it will not be recognized by uh, CircuitKit unless it has a plus besides it. So I'm going to move everything uh, in Svelte to this navbar and remove few things as well. That is something we don't need. Okay. Now, once this is there, uh, this is its own component. Now in layout, we can remove the nav altogether. And, but we still need a navigation. So we're gonna uh, put it here, nav bar this way. But nav bar isn't imported. Uh, but if you observe, SwellKit automatically did that for us. Uh, now until here, uh, we didn't write any JavaScript. Uh, this would be the first place we write it. Even though our entire app will be in JS, uh, we didn't write any. Uh, this is the first uh, script tag. Now let's see what happened. So nothing really changed. If I if I comment this out, no, now but is gone. And yeah, so this is better because uh, now we uh, it's easier to maintain this layout file. If we want to add some some more things, like let's say a footer, uh, let's say something like a sidebar or something. So in, in those cases, having it as a different component is very useful. So in navbar, uh, I said we want to highlight, right? So, so something like, you know, uh, let's say this A tag, we might want to uh, make it bold or something, font weight, bold. But uh, we don't want all of these to be bold or, you know, uh, change the font color. Uh, we want them to have uh, the that class only when we are in the active page. So how do we get the active page, right? So how do we know that we are in this home page? That is through the URL. So if I go to about, slash about is something uh, that we can recognize. So this is about page with, with this slash about. Now, uh, how do we get that here, right? So we can have script tags here that we already know. But can we use window, right? So window dot location uh, dot href. So that's our path name or something. So window dot location. Uh, we cannot because it's it's gonna it's gonna throw errors right away. So if I maybe refresh, yeah, it's it's gonna throw error. Window is not defined. So the problem with this is. The JavaScript we write is gonna run uh, on server as well. So in server, window object is is not present. So for that case, uh, we we will have to learn, like you know we can we can get away with maybe using on mount because if you if you do that uh, something like this, uh, it will be I think it is auto imported. Now if I do uh, console log of this window. Uh, this sh this should be 
this should be working. So where did it get the type? I don't want the type. Just get on. Okay. Uh, so if I refresh now, things are working. I think it will also give us the console. Okay, so it gave the location. But is this the best way of doing it? It's not because you know we sh you shouldn't be relying on window object uh, because Svelte has few things uh, available for us, which is called page. So if you want that, you can just import page from Svelte uh, stores. Now we don't need on mount here we can actually console.log since it is a store the way to access that is using a dollar sign uh, behind the variable so so when i do that you see um, hmm. not sure why it is okay so it is it is not um swelled. it is it is app stores sorry about that now when i when i refresh here I should see the page object here. Yeah, so it has all these things. Data is empty because we haven't uh, gotten any data yet. We haven't mentioned any endpoints or page.ts or page.js files. Now route and there is something called route ID, which is which is useful. You can also use URL and path name. Uh, now maybe route ID is something uh, which we want. Now if I uh, go to other pages like here about uh, this thing is not showing the console log again and again so we can do it reactively having uh, dollar and uh, you know colon and it will show us so route id is this for this route id is slash about route id is services so so on and so forth so that's good. So what we can do is here, we can do something like let uh, route ID and then we can do the route ID inside this, uh, you know, uh, reactive statement, we can do page. Uh, what was that? Page dot route dot route ID, right? dot route dot id uh now with this you know we'll have route id uh, in fact you know you don't really need this let if you're using uh, reactive statements like this uh, it will still work so what we can do here is we can add class uh, in a uh, you know uh, class active maybe something like this active class we haven't mentioned this uh, styles for this but we can do it what we can do here is uh, route id equals home, right home page uh, okay. okay route id now if route id is home so we'll have an active class so if i mention the active thing here not active i'll i'll for this moment i'll do color red i will change it later so if i go home page i have the red color because route id is equal to slash now i can uh, use the same thing for all these items which isn't uh, isn't the best way but I'll, I'll tell you about the other way as well services equals contact so when i do this uh all these pages are clearly highlighted so if i go to home page uh, this is red so yes now here i think it is like you know initially they were like in a gray color so instead of white so maybe it's uh, d or something and then when it is active it's white so if i go back uh it's clearly not uh, identifiable so i'll do triple a yeah this seems like it so if i go to about now we clearly see about is highlighted and this is how you highlight uh, your pages so uh, in the next one i'll also talk about the best way of doing it and maybe uh, we will uh, try adding some more things here maybe the you know this hero yeah i'll see you in the next one guys thanks bye bye